That House District 15 race was one of the most closely contested primaries. Incumbent Gabrielle Ledoux went from losing by just three votes on election night to leading by more than 100 after the final tally. KTVA 11's Liz Raines joins us live from Muldoon Road inside the district, where, Liz, there really weren't a lot of ballots cast to begin with. No, Joe. In fact, there were significantly fewer people who voted here than in any of the neighboring districts. But this certainly is a place with many voices. Just look down Muldoon Road and you'll find all kinds of cuisine from Asian to Mexican, Italian, Polynesian, all representing the diversity and people who live here. Today, we spoke to some of them about why they do or do not vote and whether anyone's even asked them to. <laughs> Days are some of the busiest days for Kava's pancake house. Did you want pancakes with that also? Owner Robert Topeono says a selling point is his portion size. Well, I'm a big guy, so I make the plate for me. So if it's not enough for me, it's not enough for my customers. <laughs> but so far, he says no one has tried to sell him on a political campaign. Just put a bunch of signs out there, and that's about it. Even so, Robert says he did vote in the primary election, and he's been encouraging members of his Polynesian community to do so, too. It's a key component in the melting pot of House District 15. The neighborhood just up the road is where many of Robert's Hmong neighbors live. Mary Vang says no one asked for her vote, either. No, I haven't seen anybody or anybody haven't come in here. Even if they did, it likely wouldn't have made much of a difference. She says she didn't vote in the primary. I'm too busy with other things, so not now, but in the future. <laughs> Just next door. Um, we didn't think they were going to come up, but it's taller than I am. That's not fair. Everything's taller than I am. Rebecca May Stoss, originally from Bethel, says she never misses a vote, though no one has approached her about it this year. The whole family votes. We all have fun doing it. That first table Back at Cava's, things may be noisier, but politically, Robert says his customers are quieter. It's just nothing. Like, there's not even an uh, election going on. So it's like people have lost interest. Lawmakers looking for votes may have their work cut out for them here. Now, interestingly enough, Joe, incumbent Gabrielle Ledoux paid someone $10,000 to try to rally the vote in the Hmong community here, but she herself told us that the investment didn't quite pay off the way she'd hoped. Ledoux says she thinks he only gathered between 26 and 28 votes, Joe. All right, Liz.